Problems on work and energy. Problem. What is the work to be done to increase the velocity of a car from 30 km r minus 1 to 60 km r minus 1, that means 60 km per hour, if the mass of the car is 1500 kg? So, the given parameters are mass of the car. m is equal to 1500 kg and it says that the car with a 1500 kg mass is traveling started with a velocity of 30 km per hour that means u is 30 km per hour and then it has reached a point where the velocity has increased to 60 km per hour. So, for the car to increase its velocity from 30 to 60 km per hour, what is the work? That is what we need to find out. So, we know the initial velocity of the car u is equal to 30 km per hour, which we need to convert into meter per second since in the work done we need to have this unit as meter per second. So, this becomes 30 into 5 by 18, which on cancellation we get 150 by 18 and 8.33 meter per second. Now, in the same way, let us see final velocity. Final velocity of the car, V is 60 km per hour which if you convert into meter per second you need to multiply it with 5 by 18 60 into 5 by 18 which will give rise to 16.67 meter per second now we know the u and v and we can find out what is the kinetic energy that is done we know that the work done to increase this velocity by the car is nothing but the kinetic energy. So, if we find the work done, then the change in kinetic energy will give us the work done. So, let us find out the initial kinetic energy, which can be represented as Eki. So, Ek is kinetic energy, I represents initial. So, the initial kinetic energy is half m u square, and which is nothing but half into the mass is 1500 and u is 8.33 so 8.33 whole square so on calculation we get this number as 52041.68 joules that means 52041.68 joules is the initial kinetic energy now we'll find final kinetic energy by using the final velocity half m v square here so this becomes m is 1500 and v square v here is 16.67 whole square so this on computation and calculation we get it as 208416.68 joules now the work done is given as is nothing but change in kinetic energy which is ekf minus eki because the velocity has been increased so the final kinetic energy will be higher and we also know that so this ekf minus eki gives rise to 156375 joules that means 1,56,375 joules is the work done by the car to increase the velocity from 30 km per hour to 60 km per hour. Problem 4. An object of mass 40 kg is raised to a height of 5 meters above the ground. If the object is allowed to fall, what is its potential energy? Find its kinetic energy 
when it is halfway down. So basically, an object is being raised above the ground. And the full height of it is 5 meter. And acceleration due to gravity when the object is being dropped down 10 meter per second square. Now when it is when the object is falling down, let's say this is an object, when it is falling down, initial velocity is zero. And when the object is going up initial velocity we do not know now halfway to this is the distance halfway is 2.5 meters now having drawn this figure let's see what are given and how to find out the given is mass of the object m is 40 kg and g is acceleration due to gravity is 10 meters per second square which is known and s is the distance or the height s or h h is 5 meters now to find the first part of the problem potential energy is mgh so m is known 40 g is 10 and h is 5 so on multiplication we get it as 2000 joules potential energy of the object when the object is allowed to fall down that is how we took g as 10 meter per second square and the object is falling down the full distance of 5 meters is 2000 joules. So, this potential energy is the potential energy when the object is allowed to fall. Now, we need to find the kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is given by, so when the object is falling down, the potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy and finally, when the object is about to reach the ground, the velocity will be highest and kinetic energy also is high. So, we need to find the velocity at this point. But we need to find kinetic energy when it is halfway down. That is when it is only 2.5 meters down. So, it has travelled only 2.5 meters. So, what is V at 2.5 meters of the height? At this point, what is V? We can find this from equations of motion V square minus U square is 2GH. Now, in this case, we need to find V at 2.5 meter, U is 0, 2 into G is 10 and H is 2.5. So, this is nothing but 50. So, V square at 2.5 meters is 50. So, we know this half mv square what we need to find is half m into v at 2.5 meter whole square. So, half into m is given as 40 kg into v square is 50. So, 2 into 20. So, we get this as 1000 joules. So, the kinetic energy when the object is halfway down is Eke at 2.5 meters point is 1000 joules. So, the kinetic energy Ek e at 2.5 meter point is 1000 joules.